Bernadette Hanks is one of an increasing number of people who is not obese, but is pre-diabetic. I had been having some problems and something just didn't seem right, so to the doctors I went. So yeah, it was a little bit surprising. Surprising, but not uncommon. A recent study published in the Annals of Family Medicine shows more and more Americans who are considered healthy weight are pre-diabetic. Researchers surveyed a group of normal weight people from 1988 to 1994, and 10.2% were pre-diabetic. They did the same thing several years later, from 1999 to 2012, and the percentage of people who were pre-diabetic went up to 18.5. You could be normal BMI and normal weight, but still be at an unhealthy place. Mercy Medical Center Dr. Sapneet Saluja says it all has to do with where you carry your weight. So abdominal obesity, carrying weight around your waist. Um, if your waist circumference is more than 35 inches and you're a woman, um, more than 40 inches if you're a man, that puts you at higher risk for uh, metabolic syndrome and prediabetes. Dr. Saluja says other risk factors include inactivity and unhealthy eating habits. I highly recommend increasing your exercise and uh, making good decisions in terms of your diet. That's just what Bernadette is doing. I had to change my lifestyle, not only for me, but to be here for my grandkids. Mindy Becerra, WBIL-TV 11 News.